Hallelujah. Let all the people praise Him. Let all the people praise Him. Praise is what we do. Praise is what we do. It has been said in theological circles that the chief aim and goal and end of all humanity is to praise God and enjoy Him forever. God in his infinite wisdom and his creative genius created us in his own image. That we would return a reciprocal offering by praising him as our creator. The praise is what we do. Because God has given us the privilege, the pleasure, and the power to praise a good God. We praise God, not entertain God, for who he is and for what he's done. And we have a high level of expectancy. God will continue to bless us. And we will continue to praise him on earth as it is in heaven. And when we see him face to face, our hosannas will become hallelujah. We will sit at his feet and be blessed. And we will declare and decree from all walks that Jesus is Lord. He is King of Kings. He is Alpha and Omega. But until that day, while we yet have breath in our bodies, we give God all the praise. Praise is not entertainment. The 21st century church has become a market-driven institution yeah. and not the house of God. Yeah. Yeah. We are so bombarded with yeah. images yeah. 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 of pop culture yeah. that have infiltrated the life of our churches. Well, you wonder if you're in worship or you're in the club <laughs> sometime. Yeah. You wonder, are we listening to the beat or are we listening to the lyrics? Yeah. And if you listen to the lyrics, are the lyrics biblically and theologically sound? People go from church to church measuring who has the best choir, who has the best preacher, who has the greatest hoop. Uh, many members are in the church. We have brought this secular and market-driven perspective to the ethos of worship. But the book this morning, this last song, keeps us focused on the authenticity and the original plan of what praise is all about. All right. As we celebrate this great aggregation of singles and worshipers and musicians in the life of our church, I thought it would be wise to speak from the praise song and prayers and hymns that are embedded in the scripture. When the Hebrew children, when those who made up the house of God, of Jacob, of Israel, mm -hmm. when they gathered in the temple, they would often open up this book. The book of Psalms is a compilation of prayers and songs and prayers. Yeah, yeah. Just like in front of you, we have the New National Baptist Hymnal. Come on, in the New National Baptist Hymnal, we have songs, yeah. sacred songs and hymns and anthems. And when we open that book, we sing those great songs, the red book in front of you, in your pew right now. That is the book that we use, and this, the book of Psalms, was the hymn book of the day. 
And so as we open up the hymn book of Israel, we see three questions that are raised in Psalm 150. Where do we praise God? Come on, Larry. Why do we praise God? And what do we praise God with? Yeah. In verse 1, it says, Praise God in the sanctuary. Yeah, 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 yeah. Praise Him in the firmament of His power. Uh -huh. That's the first answer to the first question. We praise God in the sanctuary. That's where we praise Him. We come together from Jersey and Maryland and Pennsylvania and Delaware. We come from the suburbs and from the city. We come red, yellow, black, and white to the sanctuary. We come whole, we come full, we come broken. We come needing help, we come employed, underemployed, and unemployed. We come married and single. We come straight and gay and lesbian, often different kind of lifestyles. All of God's children come into the house of the Lord. You may not admit it, but let's just be transparent. There's some of everything in the house of the Lord. And it ought to be that way. Do I have a witness here? The church ought to look like the world, but not act like the world. I think y'all don't let me preach a little bit. The church ought not be just a social club. It ought not just be such a, a search of people that has a certain economic status. The church is a hospital, and everybody goes to the hospital. Whether you're rich or poor, everybody needs a doctor. And when you come into the house of the Lord, we come into the sanctuary. The writer said, praise God in the sanctuary. I would tell you what I told the 8 o'clock service this morning. Why would you get up at 5.30 in the morning on Sunday, get dressed and get ready, and come down to the church and do nothing? Why would you look good, cry good, and smell good? And come down to the church and just sit in a pew and look at the screens. That's not why we come to worship. The Bible said, praise God in the sanctuary. So since you got up, and since you're dressed now, since you look so good, and since you smell so good, and since you're driving so good, and since you're here, you might as well get with the scripture. And let us praise God. You didn't come to sit there and look at me. You ought to come to praise him. Do I have a witness here? There are those watching on TV who wish they were in the sanctuary now. Those in the hospital who wish they were in the sanctuary now. Those in prison who wish they were behind these walls, not the bars. They are those who are watching on TV who are convalescent. They would give anything to be in the sanctuary. So since God has blessed us this time, that God woke us up another day, we ought to praise God in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. We come together as a corporate body. We come together as a people of God to lift up his holy name in the sanctuary, not to major on minors, not to fool this and fool that, not to do all these other things that have nothing to do with worship, but the Bible says we praise God in the sanctuary. I want you to network. I want you to get to know folk. I want you to give your business cards out, but do that after the benediction. Give God an hour, an hour, 20 minutes of pure praise. Do I have a witness here? Do you know that God has blessed you and since you're here, since he brought you here by his grace and mercy and his mercy and grace, we are gathered here to bless his name in the sanctuary. Since you've been through all what you've been through Monday through Saturday, if it ain't one thing is another, hallelujah. But since you're here, I don't know about you, I look forward to getting to church on Sunday morning. I look forward to being in the sanctuary on Sunday morning. I look forward to getting to my pulpit on Sunday morning because I know when we get together in the name of the Lord and when we like the early church on one accord, the Spirit will come in and we can praise God in the sanctuary. Now, don't look at what's happening to your left or your right and who's doing this behind you or in front of you. You ought to make praise personal. God has been so good to you. Don't worry about who's looking at you. Hallelujah. Don't try to impress somebody. You ought to just bless His Lay in the sanctuary, hallelujah. It's been a blessing to be here this morning. You can praise him in the storm. There's a storm out on the ocean.
promotion is headed this way. But before it get here, praise him anyhow. And when it get here in a few hours in your home, praise him. You got a roof over your head. Do I have I'm trying to preach in here? Where do we praise him in the sanctuary? I remember a song they used to sing in my church. I don't know what you come to do, but I came to praise his name. Do I have a witness here? My mind is made up. My heart is fixed. I came to bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Is there anybody beside Chris Bullock up in here? Up in here that came to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Have a long week but in the sanctuary. Now folks are looking at what's going on. Folks are looking at who's wearing what and that ain't got nothing to do with praise. Do I have a witness here? Hallelujah. If God ain't did nothing for you, you can't praise him. But if God has done anything for you, you ought to shout hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Come on and bless his name in the sanctuary. How many of you glad to be in the house? Shout, shout hallelujah. It's something about praising God in the sanctuary. You know we can praise him at the house. You can put on all the records and all that kind of thing. But when you come into the house of the Lord, I feel the fire burning. I feel a prayer wheel turning. Do I have a witness here? I feel like preaching WW. Hallelujah. When you get into the house of the Lord, if you ain't got no fire, there's somebody next to you. A little fire gonna burn up on you. Do I have a witness here? Is there anybody here? You feel a fresh fire. You missed you last week, but that was last week. I'm in the sanctuary right now, and I want to praise his name. Hallelujah. Where do you praise him? Praise him right where you are. Do I have a witness here? But if you feel like running, don't you think that an old man? God has blessed his sister. God gave her a story. I know her story it ain't your business. But if you've been through what she's been through, you'd be shouting too. Let me look at you around the church. Some of y'all look like you've been through something. You don't look like what you've been through. But God took care of you anyhow. Do I have a witness here? Hallelujah. I feel like a revival in here. If you've been through something and you know God did it for you, God bless his name. Don't wait till you get home. Do it in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. Who cares if you cut the carpet? Who cares if you lose your wig? Who cares if your eyelashes fall off? Who cares if you get out of your shoes? God been good to you. 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 God been The sanctuary. In the sanctuary. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise is what we do. Praise is what we do. Police officers protect and serve. Fire personnel put out fires and save lives. We just had a lady in the back about to give a baby to the Lord. Paramedics came and took care of them. That's what they do. Uh, you know, while you're praising God, he can heal at the same time. <laughs> Investors invest. That's what they do. Chefs make great meals. That's what they do. Praise us. We praise God. In spirit and in truth. That's what we do. Yes, sir. That's what we do. But if God is not your Savior, you 
think it's all about you. Then I see why you don't praise God. But if you don't praise him, yeah, there's some rocks out on Newcastle Avenue. Yeah. Praise him. And I'm not going to let a rock take my place. Because God took my place by sending Jesus on the cross. Not only am I not going to let a rock praise him, I'm not going to let you stop me from praising him. Do I have a witness here? Because when you think about the goodness of the Lord and all he's done for you, your soul ought to cry out, hallelujah. I thank God. Do you thank God? Hallelujah. Secondly, why do we praise? In verse 2, it said, Praise God. Hallelujah. For his mighty acts. Praise God for his excellent greatness. The nation of Israel, they witnessed firsthand the power of God. They were in Egypt and God set them free. When they crossed the Red Sea, God did that for them. When they got out on dry land, he fed them with manna from on high. When they needed leadership, he gave them Moses and Joshua and judges and kings and queens and kings. And whatever they needed, God blessed them. That's why I said praise God for his mighty acts. I know what you mean, Brother Ryder. David was reminding the Israel nation that God has acted in a mighty way in your life. Let's fast forward to 2012. We have to realize like the children of Israel that God has intervened in our human situation. Do I have a witness here? Oh, bless his name. When you think about God's activity in your life, you can declare and decree it was a mighty act. Oh, bless his name. When he made the heavens and the earth. When he made the rivers and the riverlets. When he created tsunamis and the storms. And Hurricane Sandy. When he made the oceans. When he made nations and countries. When he made birds, bees, flowers, and trees. That was God mighty acts. But he saved his best work. When he made us a little Lord and angels. But you are fearful and, and wonderfully made. Hallelujah. Don't you let nobody tell you that you are not nothing. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. And that's a mighty act. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. God is mighty. Mighty in battle. Whatever you need, he will supply. Do I have a witness here? Why do we praise God? We praise because he's mighty. I am the great I am. I am the truth and the life. I am the good shepherd. I am the true vine. I am the bread of life. I am the water. I am the shepherd. I am some of y'all lost your mother. Time to get a mother for you. I am I lost my daddy. He's been a father for Chris Bullock. Do I have a witness here? Somebody around here. God has been your banker. He keeps money in your pocket. Somebody in here. God has been your mortgage holder. He kept a roof over your head. Somebody, somebody, somebody. God has been your lawyer. God has been your judge. God has been your healer. Do I have a witness here? Wait a minute, wait a minute. If you don't praise him, what God gave to you, hallelujah, he might take away. So don't fool with God. Don't play church. Praise him anyhow. God inhabits the praises of the people. When your praises go up, 
his excellent greatness. Oh, bless his name. We serve a five-star God. He blesses us every time you turn around. He keeps on blessing you. You searched all over. Can't nobody do you like Jesus. Oh, bless his name. Anybody in here, you got a reason to praise him. Oh, bless his name. I ask you a question. Don't you have a reason to praise him? Oh, bless his name. Don't be scared. Don't be ashamed. Hallelujah. Bless his name. Hallelujah. I can preach to him blue in the face. But if you don't know him, you can't praise him. But you came to church, you look like you know him. You ought to praise him like you know him. Oh, bless his name. My mama saved, but she can't praise him for me. My daddy saved, he can't praise him for me. My pretty wife is saved, she can't praise him for me. My two blessed sons are saved, they can't praise him for me. My mama loves here, she can't praise him for me. This great church, you can't praise him for me. Can't nobody praise the Lord for me. But me, but you can help me lift him up. Help me, bless his name. Help me, give him praise. Help me, bless his name. Yes, if I be lifted up. Joy, this joy. 
your sand. I see you got four degrees. You got a PhD. You got all this education. But let me tell you something. If it had not been for the Lord, I'd still be in the country somewhere. Swapping the holes. Watering holes. But God picked me up.
to get so good to you in your heart. You ought to just crank it up. Do I have a witness here? And when I'm president of the county council, bring me your ticket. I don't take care of you. Do I have a witness here? Shout yeah. Every now and then, uh, go down the street with the boom boom in Jesus' name. Roll your window down.
people praise them. And all the people praise them.